People sometimes call him Professor Caveman. He does not like the nickname. This is a great spot. Too backward looking. You're taking off tools. Because Schindler is trying to help his students understand how we became the humans we are now and where we might be going. Oh, that's a nice call. By teaching them the primitive technology and survival skills of our earliest ancestors. Here we go. Here it goes. Nice job. We're sparing you some of the more gruesome tasks that they do in Schindler's class, like skinning a deer and cutting it up. But making stone tools like this was what allowed early humans to go from staring at that deer carcass helplessly and starving to death to actually being able to cut it apart and get something to eat. And it may not look like much, but this completely transformed the relationship between Homo habilis and their environment. They no longer were uh, restricted to just using their nails and their teeth. If we went back to the beginning, could mankind survive? Schindler starred in the Nat Geo survival show, The Great Human Race. Oh my God. Stand your ground. So I think we need to contextualize this with an example. The distinguished professor delivered a convocation address in buckskin. And his classes often look like this. The coolest plant right here in this spot is right in the crack by the curb. It's called pineapple weed. Students out foraging for healthy wild plants on the side of the road. A nice pungent flavor it's to really it. It's delicious. really nice, right? He lives in a nice suburban home with his wife <gasps> and three children. But the family has shared his incredible experiences, like a week subsisting in a thatch hut in a Stone Age village in Denmark. We're different than other families, but people think it's cool. Nice job. His suburban home is often packed with college students. Here, they're making head cheese. Squeamish at all? Nope. No. Nope. Not squeamish. We helped butcher the pig to begin yeah. with. Liver moose. Almost like a strawberry smoothie. Sourdough bread. So this doesn't look all that primitive to me. This isn't that primitive, but the technique for fermenting this for a very long period of time very well could be 10 to 12,000 years old. So this is the cheese cave. This is holding all the cheese that these students have made for the past few weeks. An Italian cheese. This is ricotta salata, which is a very, very salty, dry ricotta. All for a big college banquet celebrating a multi-million dollar fundraising drive. It's not about eating like cavemen. It's about learning to eat like humans again. Homo erectus lived on this planet for almost two million years. Modern humans have been here far less time. What have we done to this planet in 200,000 years? What have we done to ourselves? Schindler thinks we need to relearn those ancient skills. Go ahead. To reconnect with our past and remember what it means to be human if we hope to be around anywhere near as long. But we're also the smartest species on the planet. At Washington College in Chestertown, Maryland. That's my first stone tool ever. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Yeah.